Here we are folks again, continuing with these old GP bowls, general purpose bowls, cereal bowls, pudding bowls, whatever you want to call them. Using a different camera, different camera angle. This is a sponge on a stick, which is a a useful little addition to your toolkit. Quite easy to make, just a piece of sponge on the end of a on the end of on end of, on. Ugh, getting sorry, getting tongue tied there. On the end of a chopstick. That is a a chopstick. Buy them in your local Chinese shop for very little. Do, 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 do. This is really just like throwing a cylinder, it's like throwing a V-shaped cylinder. Right, get higher than you want to start with. You don't have to roll the rim, that's optional, but I do. So I roll the rim. In the process of doing that I've lost a bit of height, but I'm still basically V-shaped. Okay, now from being V-shaped, I belly it out from the inside out. give it a bit of curve and that's basically it, that's the bowl so let's just make sure that it's up to the gauge By the way folks, I've just uploaded onto our website quite a few items of some of our some kitchenware utilitarian bits of pottery that are, you'll find if you go into my website www.simonhceramics.com and just go click on I think it says kitchen kitchenware or You'll find a few new things there. Christmas is coming up, you might find something there that... Present for somebody, you never know. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Ah, number three, okay folks. Keep practicing at these GP bowls. And very saleable little item because it's not a one off because generally people will will buy will buy more than one. They might bought buy three or four or half a dozen.
Okay, folks, we'll leave it there. Have a good day. Bye now.